Be inspired, please go crazy for Mr. Reggae Reggae Sauce himself, Levi Roots. <laughs> Man, it's like that well. <laughs> Lord of mercy, man. <laughs> we talk about inspiration, yeah, because it's, it's V inspired. And if you are talking about inspiration, you've got to start from the top. Because to be inspired, you've got to find somebody that you admired. And for me, it was about my parents. It was first about my grandmother, and then it was about my mom. And really, I came upon Dragons then as those who saw me stringing the same guitar. But before I sing the Reggae Reggae Saw song, I'm going to try and you know, let you know how I was inspired to actually go on Dragons and to slay those dirty dragons. Five of them it was. It's about this, this same guitar. I remember, I'm, I know some of you guys will hear, I know it's kind of difficult for people to get into you when you're talking about inspiring young people. But... I can swear to you guys, I have been there. I know it. And how I was inspired was by this guitar. And you know, when I'm talking to you guys, I've always got to go really deep because, you know, I can't hide anything from you guys. And my life really started when I was like your age. I couldn't function at all. I couldn't get anybody to inspire me. I ended up in prison. In 1986, the judge sentenced me to nine years in prison. Absolutely. I thought that I would never come back from that. And you know, this is serious, guys, because I don't really talk this part of my life to many people, really, because this is the truth, what happened. Nine years in prison when I thought that everything was lost. All my friends, everybody thought that I would never come back from that. And I'm sure that we all understand that moment. When people don't believe in you, people are always telling you that you're not doing the right thing. I really wanted to be successful in music, and my mom knew that as well. So as my first inspiration, and I'm hoping that you guys will make your parents your first inspiration. Let me get a round of applause for that for your parents at home. Come on. Come on, guys. Yeah. Because if it wasn't for my mom, I wouldn't be here right now, and that's why I'm going to pay ultimate respect to all mothers all over the place. Thank you very much. She saw that I couldn't focus. So while I was serving my sentence, she went out and she paid for this guitar. And that was a long time ago. I couldn't even play the guitar. She brought this guitar and she also brought a Beatles book of songs. And it's one of these kind of guitar books that shows you how to hold the chords on the guitar. There's no one in my cell to talk, teach me to play. All I had was my mom's inspiration, this guitar and the book. The first chord I ever learned to play was there. That's a D chord, a D major. And from learning my first chord on the guitar, I wanted to go into music, but not just about the music, because I know some of you guys are really into music. I wanted to go into the business side of the music as well. The management, the promotion, the marketing, and all that. I wrote my first album on the same guitar when I was in prison. It was called Free Your Mind. I didn't serve the full nine years, I served five years out of the nine. And when I came out, that album was nominated for a MOBO Awards. Because I really wanted to do well for my mom, you know? And when you're inspired by somebody, you're gonna do well for them. So that album was inspired by my mom and I did it for her. But 2007 came around and I still wanted to be inspired. And I came across the Dragon's Den. Now, I walked up the stairs on the Dragon's Den, and just like you, people don't believe in you. Everybody said, Levi, don't call the sauce reggae reggae sauce. <laughs> Them said, it's too black. It's too jump. <laughs> no, listen, guys, this is what people say. I went to everywhere. People said, Levi, don't call it reggae reggae sauce. It's too black. It's too Jamaican, and it's too Rasta. <laughs> but I said, hang on, man, that's me, Jamaican, black, and Rasta. And I wanted the sauce to be about me. I don't think Peter Jones or those on the Dragons invested in the sauce. And I don't, well, the millions of people that saw me on, on Dragons then and rang me up the day after I came off the show saying, Levi, we want your sauce, we want your drink, we want your suits, we want your underpants, everything. 
They never really tried the sauce. It was the inspiration of the song and the guitar. It really was. So if you're thinking to be inspired, find something or somebody that you admired. That's what inspiration is about. And you can twist it and call it a mentor. Get yourself a mentor. Don't try to do it on your own. That's what it's about. I mean, you remember me and Dragons, and I was really crap, really, on Dragons then. Because, you know, you, you remember it. You know, I got the numbers wrong and everything like that. I wasn't right in any way, in any form. I was sweating like I am now on Dragons then. And the first three Dragons says, Levi, I don't want nothing to do with your Reggie Reggie sauce. <laughs> they couldn't even pronounce it. But then, my inspiration says, yes, Levi, I will have some of that. And his name was Peter Jones. So I came up the stairs with a guitar just like this, thinking that, boy, I cannot never go back to Brixton where I come from. Because where I come from in Brixton, if you ever go out and make the dragons them slay you, you better stay the fuck out there. <laughs> Don't come back. <laughs> right? So I knew that I had to slay these dragons with the song. So, and you can't borrow this song, by the way, you know. <laughs> so... It was like this, and if you know it, sing along, because the adverts on TV, and I know you know it, and there's no shyness here today, because we're all together, yeah? yeah? All right, so here it goes now. Somebody put some music in the food for me. Give me some reggae, reggae, Lord of mercy. <laughs> we don't know it, sir. All right, people, are you ready? Yeah. All right, I didn't know you knew it like that, man. Somebody put some music in the food for me. Give me some reggae, reggae sauce. Hot reggae, reggae sauce. It's so nice. I had to name it. I call it reggae, reggae sauce. Hot reggae, reggae sauce. Just like my baby, it is the perfect delight. It's got some peppers and some herbs and spice. We want some reggae, reggae sauce. Hot reggae, reggae sauce. It's so nice with your fried chicken. Make burgers finger licking. And <laughs> Listen, man, the dragons weren't laughing at that point. You know, they were really serious, those dragons, man. You saw them. Yeah. So nice with your fried chicken, make burgers finger licking. On your barbecue and your drumsticks, put some reggae reggae sauce on your dish. So nice with fish and chips, and in a vegetarian dish. As a marinade or as a beef, say me love you reggae reggae sauce. Nice up your chips, reggae reggae sauce. At reggae reggae sauce, come on! It's so nice, I had to name it twice. I call it reggae, reggae sauce. At reggae, reggae sauce. You can eat it with some crackers. Steam down with two fat slappers. Some okra and some spinners. Swimming in some coconut juice. In Jamaica's national dish. In the ackee and in the starfish. You can... <laughs> Any Jamaicans in the house? Yeah, you know it, man. <laughs> you can have it with what you with. In a Chinese, Japanese, everything well with Reggae, reggae sauce. Hot reggae, reggae sauce. It's so nice. I had to name it twice. I call it reggae, reggae sauce. Hot reggae, reggae sauce. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man, <laughs> it's like that, it's like that, you know, and where is the business now? Because if we're talking about inspiration, the song inspired the dragons, yes? The dragons inspired me, because nowadays with the business and stuff like that, you've got to have somebody that knows much more than you. Don't try to do it on your own. If you're asking me about tips to do with how did I do it, the first thing you've got to think about when you're going into business, guys, the business plan. Come on. It's got to be about that. I know what it's like for you guys, young people. It's hard to plan, especially long term. No entrepreneur will tell you that there's a business plan to do with short term planning. So don't plan it short. Plan it long term. That's the first thing. 
And the second thing, once you've got a long-term plan, you've got to be able to focus on that long-term plan. Really focus on I mean, like, when your friends don't want to go out and do things, you're there, like, you know, with the eye of the tiger, like, really focus on it. And you've got to really know what you want. It's not about anybody else. Because if I listened to my friends, I would have never called it reggae, reggae sauce. I probably would have called it something like, um, Levi Roots, his grandmother's inspired Scotch bonnet Jamaican sauce. <laughs> No, but you know, people couldn't even pronounce reggae, reggae sauce. People were saying like, Levi, can I have some of your Reggie, Reggie sauce? But now it just slips off the tongue like it's always been there because it's about marketing. Once you market something and make it be inspiring to people, and I'm hoping here that my story, you know, with all the bits when I got into trouble when I was a bit of a bad boy and, and couldn't do the thing, that's part of the story. I mean, it's not like you guys, you're not going to end up in prison like, well, hopefully not like I did. But you will have your own dragons to slay. You will. Dragons, when I say dragons, it's not about the dragons on TV that I faced. They were my personal dragons. You will face your dragons. And your dragons will be your friends, your family. That's going to stop you. Your associates and your time wasters. Those are the dragons that you're going to slay, and you're going to continuously do that until you find somebody that inspires you. When that happens, it comes together. That's it. And the business plan, which you had before you got your, 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 your mentor, will come together. You will not be able to make the business plan proper if you don't have a mentor. Don't try to do it on your own. The most important thing is to recognize that you're not the best of you. Not yet. Hands up anybody who thinks that they are the best of them. They, it, there's no improvement needed. See what I mean? We, I can't even put my hands up. Well, now I can. Because I don't think that anything is expected more of me. I've got the fancy suits. Look on these. Lord of mercy. <laughs> yeah. I know I'm ready. Because I have a company now that's sold over what? Let's have a look. Over 50 odd million bottles of reggae reggae sauce. It's ready. But you guys have got to be ready. Don't try it if you're not ready. Be the best of you. That's my word that I'm going to leave with you. That's my saying. The best of you. What is it? The best of me. Even when you think you're ready, get yourself a mentor. And like I said, if you want to be inspired, find somebody you admired. That's what it's about. And man, you see, if you can't do that, then write to me and I will lend you the reggae reggae sauce song. Probably that will work. Thank you very much. Respect Joe. Yeah. <laughs>